Miami Heat looking to get back to 500 on this still very young season as they host a Chris Paul less Phoenix Suns. Phoenix still had Devin Booker and he was cooking in the fourth quarter of this basketball game. That jump shot extends the Suns lead to double digits. But here comes Miami, specifically Bam out of Bayou, spinning, winning, and dealing for the score. Another Phoenix turnover leads to guess who leading the fast break? It's Bam out of Bayou getting it back and throwing it down. Two of his 30 points also had 10 rebounds. Kyle Lowry is going to make his 2,000th career three-pointer, and it also gives Miami the two-point lead. 82 seconds to go. It's Booker cooking a deep, tough tray ball. Suns back up by one. Guess who again? Out of Bayou cleaning up the mess. When it's winning time, Suns down a point. Booker is rejected by Jimmy Butler and then highly contested by Butler. He would get an A if we were playing NBA 2K. Look at the defense played by Jimmy B, always doing just what his team needs to win a game. The Miami Heat are now 7-7 seven and seven following their home victory over the Phoenix Suns, 113-112. To 112. You know, one of these years, we're going to have to start to give this Miami Heat regime more credit. Like Miami started off slow, and Eric Spolstra, Jimmy Butler, and Bam Adebayo said, you know what? We're not doing this. We're going to get our act together earlier, sooner, rather than later. And just like that, they're rolling again. Miami knows, for the most part, they can beat about 75, 80% of the teams that they play by just playing their their brand of basketball any night of the regular season. You get Jimmy Butler to do his thing. You saw him lock up Booker. If Bam's got it rolling, that's always great. And you get maybe one of these guys to have the hot hand, whether it's Tyler Hero, Max Strews, if Kyle Lowry can make a couple big shots. And there you have it. That's a team that can win a lot of regular season games. And there's going to become a time where we start to give Miami more credit and look at some of these pretenders the Philadelphia 76ers, the Brooklyn Nets. We keep giving them all the credit in the world. But last time I checked, the team that's made it to the conference finals twice and the NBA finals once over the last few years, it's not the Philadelphia 76ers. It's not the Brooklyn Nets. It's Jimmy Butler's Miami Heat squad. Like Butler ain't lighting up your stat line for 35 a night, but he's winning games. He's doing what needs to be done to help his team win. Bam out of Bayou, say what you want about him. Uh, he never got to that uh, MVP caliber level just yet. He's still very young. Right now, Bam out of body is more consistent than Anthony Davis. He's on the court more. He's, he's more available, more explosive. All that than Anthony Davis right now. And I think AD's got a higher peak than Bam. But but what the hell does a peak matter if you're not out there, night in, night out there to get to your peak? Give Miami credit. Max Strews balling right now. I don't know what they're going to do with Tyler Hero. I know they just gave him that new contract, but... Max Drew seems to be their guy. Miami is rolling again. Them in Boston, the way they're playing, it's like they, in their minds, they think they're on a collision course right back to the Eastern Conference Finals. And who the hell am I to tell them otherwise?